Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on a 3D printed redesign of a true classic, the first Apple ADB mouse. This is the original ADB mouse. I love its design and retro aesthetics, but seeing it from today's perspective, it has some major limitations. For example, it only has one button, no scroll wheel, and it uses the ADB connector, which means you can't connect it to modern hardware without using an adapter. The goal of this project is to modernize the classic ADB mouse while keeping its bold retro shape. I'm making it wireless, removing the single button for a seamless one-piece design, slightly increasing the size for better ergonomics and rounding the edges for a smoother look. And of course I'm adding a scroll wheel because it's a must-have. For the electronics I'm using the Bumble Lab mouse kit which is widely available and making it easier for you to build this project at home. Before jumping into 3D modeling I always start with a quick sketch to refine the design and see if the concept works. It doesn't need to look like a Picasso painting, just a simple reference to look at while modeling in 3D. Now it's time to take this design into Fusion 360 and start modeling. The model is ready, now I'm gonna slice it in Bamboo Studio and start the print on my Bamboo Lab X1C. The print is done and the parts are already looking great. Now I'm removing the supports and doing a bit of cleanup. Let's move on to post-processing to really make it look like it came straight from the factory. For that I'm using a small container filled with water, starting with 180 grit sandpaper. I also assemble the top and bottom parts before sanding to ensure a consistent finish across both pieces. Once the parts are dry, I'll place them in my spray booth and apply a few layers of primer filler spray to smooth out any last imperfections. The primer filler did a great job hiding most of the layer lines. Now I'm gonna sand the parts one more time with 800 grit sandpaper and assemble the scroll wheel by pressing these two parts together. Finally, I apply the beige gray spray paint and finish it with a matte clear coat for a subtle textured finish. The Bamboo Lab mouse kit comes with all the components needed to build a fully functional mouse. After checking out the PCB, I noticed the stock buttons are completely silent. But I want a more tactile feel and a noticeable click sound. So I'm gonna desolder them and swap them out for traditional micro switches. With the new switches soldered in, I can now continue with the assembly.
With the build complete, the mods is finally done. But before I show you how it performs, I want to give a quick shout out to PCBWay for supporting this project. PCBWay isn't just for PCBs, they also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding and more. Whether you need a custom circuit board or a full enclosure, they've got high quality manufacturing at a great price. I actually used their 3D printing service to make a transparent version of this mouse and I was seriously impressed. It came out super clean, almost like it was injection molded. So if you're working on a project and need high quality parts, visit PCBWay.com. With the mouse fully assembled, it's time to test it out. I plug in the USB receiver to my Mac and it works perfectly. And as you can hear, the new micro switches have that satisfying click sound. I also wanted this to work with my Macintosh SE. To do that, I built a custom adapter based on the open source Quark ADB firmware by Rabbit Hole Computing, which allows you to convert USB keyboards and mice to ADB. I'll be covering the full build of this adapter in another video, and I also plan to design a PCB so you can easily make one at home with off-the-shelf parts. But if you don't want to wait and build this adapter right now, I'll be uploading the SDL files for the case, along with a simple overview of what you need to put it together yourself. And of course, the mouse is fully customizable when it comes to color. I also built another version in black with a red scroll wheel using Bamboo Labs matte filament, which is a great addition to my 90s IBM ThinkPad. And that's it. If you want to build this mouse yourself, I've put all the links down in the description, so be sure to check them out. And I'd like to hear from you which version is your favorite. The classic beige, the matte black or the transparent one. And if you have any ideas for what I should make next, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.